Hello traders, hello traders, this is a live day trading using the CCI period 14. All right, I want to sell the Dow Jones index using a limit order to sell. So I'm going to carefully select my entry point. Price now in the zone of 182 to 0. Wow, that's quite high. One eight two C zero. Hmm. One eight two. Okay. One eight two two five. That's what the price now. Two five. Okay. I want to sell at. Uh, one eight two ten. Okay, that would be a place, a good place for me to sell at one eight two ten. All right. Bear with me, please, traders. One eight two. Ten. Selling Dow Jones. I'm not yet in the train. Uh, because it's a limit order, uh, that order will be filled when the price uh, drops down to that level. All right, but if it's continuing to go up, I'm not in the train, I will be in the train when that order is filled. Okay, I'm going to use uh, a light green to highlight uh, my uh, limit order at uh, one zero one eight two one zero. Okay, so that's my uh, limit order there, set carefully there. Uh, I'm, what I'm doing here, you can see that uh, I was a bit careful uh, to sell. Um, looking at uh, what has happened before, around that level, all right? So, yes. Just checking again, my friend, <laughs> all right? Checking carefully. Yes, I'll leave it there for now. Leave it there for now. The reason why I'm selling is this. Let me explain it to you, my friend. All right. So, when a CCR reaches the level of a 200 zone, it's indicating to us that there will be a trend. All right. But when a CCI is in, the, in that zone, it's also highlighting a resistance level. For that uh, new trend to begin, the price must break above the current resistance level. The current resistance on this 15-minute uh, chart is uh, this uh, key level here. You see this uh, trail line here. You have drawn it for the monthly chart. It's a trail line. All right? So I'm not on a 15-minute chart just doing my own thing. I have lines that are coming from the uh, monthly chart. This is another key level here. And 183. Five one. In fact, what I told trader priority to bearish signal below one eight three five one, and priority to bullish signal above that level. But I'm on a fifty minute chart live day trading using the CCI period of fourteen. So because the CCI is in a zone of two hundred, is indicating to me that there will be trend. Well, if there will be a trend, resistance. If there will be a bullish trend, resistance will be broken. <laughs> All right. So. We recorded a video today, which we call uh, Simple CCI Indicator Trading Strategy That Does Wonders. So I will be posting that video before this one. So you will have a chance to watch that video before watching this one. So, And I explained to traders uh, uh, this uh, simple CCI Indicator Trading Strategy That Does Wonders. See the 200 zone indicating to us that there will be a bullish trend. But that bullish trend will only take place if the price starts breaking resistance ahead, okay? But if you stay below that resistance level, which means priority to bear a signal below the current resistance level, and priority to bullish signal above the current resistance level, if there will be a trend, we will be buying above that resistance level. If, for instance, though is in a, in a zone of 200 level, 
if he fail to break that resistance, it's indicated to us that the opposite will take place, which means the price will know we will not have a bullish trend, but the price will start going down a bit. Therefore, looking at what is happening here, the price is still below that level, um, a bit ahead, and I place my limit order here to sell. What I'm doing, I'm a bit careful because I don't want to sell it straight away at a resistance level for no reason. So we can't just sell because the price is at a resistance level. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it may not work. So what I'm trying to do here carefully is that if, all right, it's going to fail to go above this current resistance level, that will mean that some people start selling it first, all right? Some small money starts selling it first, and if they sell it truly, truly and start going down, my order will be filled. So I'm not the first person to sell. I'm just joining the first sellers, and my order will be filled. All right, that's why I place my limit order somewhere here to sell. If you look on this chart also, there was a this support level here. There's a support here on this 15 minute time frame. You see here the prior went above it, okay, and then. It went it ran fast. So for my order to be filled, the price should break below this uh, support level here on a 50 minute time frame. So my my uh, my uh, strategy is that if it manages to go below this support level here, this level at uh, 18238, if it goes below it and continue to go down all the way to 18210, it means that uh, this support here is invalid which means they start selling it that's why so my plan is that the the problem will find it quite difficult okay uh, to continue to go down all the way to 182 the only time that it will continue to go all the way to 18210 is when they are truly truly selling it so that's why i put myself there waiting for them if they are truly truly selling it my order will be filled but remember that when a CCI, any CCI is in the zone of 200, it's indicating to us that there is a pending trend, bullish trend. If it's in a negative 200 zone, it's indicating to us there is a pending downtrend. But it doesn't mean that definitely the price will go down, which if you want to understand that a simple CCI trading strategy that does wonders, check out the video that I've already mentioned to you at the pro traders youtube channel how to trade it it's not like boom 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 plug and play it's understanding what is happening all right this is what we are doing here so now you know why i want to sell it at 18210 all right see it's in the zone of 200 resistance ahead if you fail it will go down instead all right very simple and also very powerful okay if you go to the monthly chart, you can see that on the monthly chart, the CCI 14 is in overbought zone, indicating to us that we are in a resistance zone. That resistance is the 18351, 18351, that's the two quads line on my monthly chart. We are in a resistance zone, and the prior is having a bit of a challenge to continue to go up. We see the same problem, see this trail line, this is what I'm talking about on the 15 minute time frame, this one here. On the 15 minute time frame, again, if it's going to have a bullish trend, all right, it must break above this level. So if it's continuing to go up, if it continues to go up above this trail line here, and breaks above, so I am ready to buy and also I am ready to sell, that's what we are talking about. But I want to sell at 18210. But if he continue to go up, okay, and find a support above that level, that means that the information that the CCI is giving us here, that there is a possibility of a bullish trend on this 50 minute time frame, is true. If it breaks above this resistance and find a support, I will become a buyer. Then I will catch the move up. If it start going down, my order will be filled. So I am ready to sell and I'm ready to buy and I'm careful to buy and to sell. I will only buy if you find a support above this current resistance, which is the blue line here. Because we are below that trend line, I have a good reason to give priority to bearish signal. Therefore, I'm using a limit order carefully here to sell. Okay, 
at 18210. I'm not here in the trade. That trade will be filled if the price continues to go down. Right. So now from the 50 minute time frame, I'm going to the 3 minute time frame to zoom into what is happening here. So if it breaks above this level on the 3 minute time frame and display a high low, I will switch from uh, selling into buying. All right. I'm going to pause the video, which I always do when I'm doing live recording because this video is not for public show as such. It's for educational purposes for traders that want to learn to master the commodity channel index indicator. So the time in London is 15 minutes past 3 p.m. on the on the 14th on the 14th of October 2016. I will pause the video in New York. It's uh, 15 minutes past uh, uh, 10. All right. So so pausing the video for the first time, uh, we we'll place a vertical line at the point where we are pausing the video. Okay. I'm now on the three minute time frame. Zoom into it. My limit, my limit order still here is not yet filled. It will be filled when the price is dropping to that level. So I'm going to pause the video now to avoid that it's too long. And I'll come back to it if there is something interesting taking place here. Whether my order is about to be filled, whether it's breaking above and displaying higher low here, I'll come back and show you what is happening. So pausing the video for the first time after how long? After 11 minutes of recording. So speak to you soon. Okay, traders, we pause the video here. As you can see, uh, it's quite slow now because uh, it's just going horizontal. But the good news is that it uh, starts going down a bit. What I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to put um, also a stop loss, uh, 18210. All right. Uh, above me, I'm going to go to the one minute time frame and see whether I can place uh, it's quite high one eight two one zero uh, I need to wait until this order is filled three three all right yes three three twenty three pips so I'm going to place uh, a stop loss at one eight two uh, free free that's a good place hold on please traders stop loss remember that uh, my limit order is not yet filled it's still here at 18210 but uh, what i'm doing now because um, i need to do something so i don't want to okay sit and watch the charts because it's friday it can take uh, ages sometimes because the market can be quite slow on Friday. So what I'm doing, I'm just setting my limit order 18210 and a stop loss at 18233, which means if the order is filled at 18210, stop loss will be at 18233. So but we want to give it more time because uh, it's taking a bit longer. So if you reach this level is filled, stop loss will be set at 18233. All right. So this is what I'm doing now. And also, uh, I'm going to move uh, my vertical line to the point where I'm going to pause the video for the second time. Just remember that we are waiting for our limit order 182110 to sell the Dow Jones index using the CCI period 14. And when that order is filled, stop loss will be set, okay, 23 pips up at 18233. Now, I'm going to go again from um, going back to my 15 minute time frame and I'm going to set uh, a profit target. This is eight as quite high. Um, a two. Yes, I set a profit target at uh, 18 pips, 28 pips. That will be 28 pips at uh, 182. One, one, eight, one. Okay, eight two one eight one eight two. All right, he's <laughs> setting uh, a profit target at one eight one eight two. All right, I'm going to call out the profit target into orange. So even if I'm not here, all this will be automatically done. Okay, order will be filled, stop loss at 18233, 
uh, and a target at 1818. All right. So so far, going back again from the 50 minute time frame, going to go back to the three minute time frame to zoom into it. Carefully, carefully. I have my many lines here. So we are watching this uh, resistance. So we are saying priority to bear signal below uh, this resistance here, which is uh, clear to us from the CCI on a monthly chart that is highlighting uh, it's a common set line along this price here. We are talking about this line here. Okay, I just drawn it carefully here. I'm watching that line carefully there. And CCI is overbought. The resistance, in fact, is 18351. The two quads lie here. We are in a resistance zone on the monthly chart. And then we went to the 15 minute time frame. We know that the CCI is in a zone of uh, a 200, positive 200, indicating to us that there is a possibility of a bullish trend. But that bullish trend will only take place if the price breaks above the blue trend line here and finds support. The opposite is also true, which means if you fail to go above the blue line here, it is an invitation to sell. So because we are still below that uh, trail line here, I place a limit order here, expecting other traders to start selling it first, and my order will be filled, and I will set my stop loss at 18233. I set my uh, greedy, if it's not greedy as such, a <laughs> greedy profit target at 18182, expecting 28 pip out of this trade. Why? Because I'm risking 23 pips, expecting 28 pips. Because it's Friday, Friday afternoon, all right? I don't want to be hanging around when everybody else is uh, going out for their weekend, all right? <laughs> all right? This is just a quick scalping, live scalping, using the CCI period of 14. All right, so now... Let's pause it again. The time in London is now 57 minutes. You see, the time is going far. We will start, uh, okay, to, we were at 50 minutes past three. Now it's uh, now 58. One hour is 45 minutes almost gone. And my order is still here, not yet filled. So I don't want to sit watching this chart. So I will pause it one more time. Or I will come back to it and see what has happened. So everything is there. Three minute time frame. Pausing the video right here, I will come back to it if there is something interesting taking place. So, I'll speak to you soon. Here it comes, traders. This order is now filled. As you can see, we pause the video here and the price came to touch it now. We are now in this trade, which is good. All right, almost one hour waiting for this limit order at 18210 to be filled. It's now filled. All right, the stop loss will be at 18233. Profit target at 18182. Okay, so I'm going to pause it one more time and we'll come back and see, okay, how our trade, okay, has been, uh, okay, whether it has been successful or not. All right, so the profit target is not far away. Hopefully, it will be done now. Okay, so we'll see. All right, so. That would be nice to, 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 to get it done as soon as possible so we can wrap it up straight away. But uh, I need to do something, so I'm just waiting a bit more. If nothing is happening here, we'll pause it again and see uh, uh, and come back to it later on to show you what is happening here. All right, so looking good, looking good so far. So just waiting to see whether it's going to be a fast trade or not okay so this is our limit order here our uh, profit target at 18182 looking for 28 pips very fast out of this trade all right i'll give it uh two more minutes or one minute one minute if not it start going up i'll pause it again moving my vertical line here and then uh, we'll come back to it uh, okay all right. All right. I'll pause it one more time and I will come back to it to show you what has happened without being kicked out of my trade at 18233 or whether I get pay at 18182. So pause in the video, okay, and I will speak to you soon. Well, uh, traders, uh, this has been uh, a successful trade as uh, we sold. Uh, Okay, the Dow Jones at uh, 18210 
setting our stop loss at 182.33, 23 pips up. Our profit target is now hit at 181.82, 28 pips very fast out of uh, this uh, scalping trade, uh, trading with the CCI period uh, 14. All right, so we pause the video here. He tried to go up a bit by final resistance below the moving of the 14. The reason why I have uh, the simple moving of 14 on my chart is that because I'm using a commodity channel in this period 14, which is measuring the deviation of the price in relation to the moving average 14. Has been a profitable trade, live day trading with the commodity channel in this. As you can see, it's continuing to go down, all right? So all we have seen is that uh, on a 15 minute time frame, uh, the price uh, was at, uh, in a zone of uh, 200, okay, level for the CCI, indicating to us that there is a possibility that we may see a bullish trend. But for that bullish trend to continue, the price must break above uh, this uh, current resistance level, but as it fails, so what we do, we give priority to bullish signal above that resistance level and priority to bear signal below. The prior has failed to go above that resistance level, confirming to us that there will be no trend on this 15 minute time frame. Also, on a monthly chart, the CCI is in a resistance zone. Okay, that resistance is uh, uh, 18351, the turquoise horizontal line here. All right. And uh, there was the price in the resistance zone in a monthly chart. On a 15-minute time frame, the price fell uh, to break above another resistance level. And we are taking advantage of that, that using a limit order to control the risk. As a day trader, we want to use the limit order to control the risk. As you can see, other traders sold it first, and my order was filled, and I get paid right here. All right. So I hope you have learned something from this video also, and we'll put it into use, okay, to make uh, excellent uh, CCI trading uh, uh, decision. I recommend to traders to watch the video that we title "Simple CCI Indicator uh, Strategy." All right, at the Pro Traders YouTube channel, "Simple CCI Indicator." trading strategy that does wonders that's the title of the video at the pro traders youtube channel so you may understand why i'm paying attention to the cci when it reaches the level of 200 so you also can make a, okay can start improving your cci okay scalping and day trading decision we wish you the very best in your trading and until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSCCI Pro traders uh, talking about live day trading using the CCI period 14. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.